Now, the majority of binomial distribution questions will be worded problems, okay, in context. So you're going to have to deal with uh, making sure that you can interpret what the question's actually asking. And the kind of words they're going to be using are what's the probability of getting more than so-and-so or at least or less than or at most and real or between two particular values. And you need to be able to interpret, well, what does that mean? Okay. So I'm going to write each of these uh, in probability notation so you can really see and identify what these are uh, really asking for. So what's the probability of getting more than 6? So this is quite an obvious one. Um, so we would write that down as the probability of x being more than 6, greater than 6. OK? So... Um, I want more than six people to attend the party. Okay, that's what it. That's how it could be interpreted. I want at least eight people to attend the party. Okay, so that would mean I would want eight or more. So at least eight means eight or more. So x has to be greater than or equal to eight. Okay, so at least will mean greater than or equal to. Less than, well, that's another obvious one. So the probability of x being less than 9. I want less than 9 people to appear at the party. OK? So, and at most 10, I want at most 10 people to be at the party. So at most 10 puts a limit at 10. So I want less than or equal to 10. OK? So if you're thinking about what these look like on a number line-wise, right, then... Let's say we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? If I want greater than 6, then I'm wanting 7, 8 and onwards. Okay? So I want all of those. If it's greater than or equal to 8, then on a number line, let's do another one, okay? I'm going to want 8 or more. OK, so for at least 8. For less than 9, so for less than 9, I'm going to want all of these and all of those going down as well. Less than or equal to 10, so, so less than or equal to 10, I want 10 or less. OK, so just so you can visualise precisely which probabilities we want. So if you wanted any of those, then what you could do, if it was reasonable to do so, then if you want less than 9, then you could find out the probability of B x being 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, and then adding them all together. Conveniently, we will be looking at the cumulative distribution in a, vi uh, in a couple of videos' time. Uh, well, in the next video. Now, if you've got word in, wording like this, so you've got a uh, between range, at least two, but less than five, OK? So if you want at least two, now remember, x has got to go in the middle and you work your way outwards here. So at least two, so I would want x to be greater than or equal to two, OK? So reading it from right to left, I want at least 2, but less than 5. So that would be the probability I want. So on a number line, we'd be looking at 2, 3, 4, 5. I want 2, 3, and 4. OK? 5 isn't included. At most 12, but more than 8. So x is in the middle, so I want more than 8, and I want at most 12. So on a number line, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, let's go up to 13. So I want more than 8, less than or equal to 12. So it would be specifically those four. Okay, so that's how 
we can uh, figure out from the wording precisely what the probability is that we are required to find. Okay, Drawing a little number line to help, there's nothing wrong with that. So if you need it, want to continue with that, then do so.